everybody. Welcome to another episode. I'm Matt. I'm Mandy. And this is another episode. Thank you guys so much for joining us again as we dip back into the movies that shaped our childhood. And today, Mandy, what are we talking about? Today we are talking about the 1997 Jim Carrey classic, Liar Liar. 97 Jim Carrey classic, yes. Liar Liar. Look at that. I felt like it was earlier than that. Like, I feel like it affected more of like my childhood, like as a child. <laughs> for sure. But, well, I mean, we that put us solid at, uh, what, 14-ish? Yeah. Right in that area? Yeah. I mean, that was a big time for me. That was This was definitely a huge movie for me. I've seen it multiple times. Like, yeah, so many same. times. But, um, I saw it, like, seven times in the theater. <laughs> I'm sure you're shocked. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, for those of you listening in who are, are joining us for the first time, Mandy, how many times did you see Titanic in the theater? 17 times. 17, yeah. So this is par for the course for you. Mm-hmm. Lots of, uh, lots of yeah. rewatches. Mm-hmm. Lots of nothing going on where we grew up. So. Uh, oh yeah, and and two dollars and fifty cent movie theaters. Hell so yeah. Hell yeah. I saw Titanic three times in one day for like ten bucks. <laughs> so. That is an unacceptable way to spend your day. Uh, <laughs> so uh, if you're joining us now, uh, either via your ears or through the YouTube's, uh, if you've never found a reason to watch this movie, please take it upon yourselves to go and find it. I could not find it streaming. I had to rent this movie. Same. Uh, yeah. So if you uh, want to join us with the conversation and uh, you want to know what the hell we're talking about, go find it and watch it and then come back and join us for this conversation. And you're back. All right. Had to give them a few time, a uh, little time to pause and, and join. So. <laughs> okay. And uh, of course, Mandy and I, we don't like to talk about these movies by ourselves uh, nope. because, you know, we already know what each other thinks and generally we just don't agree on much at this point. So it's been, what are we at now, uh, 93 episodes, I think this will be? Something yeah, like I think that's, yeah, something like that. Look at that, yeah. Feels Ooh. like 9,003. But right, yeah, no little other. baby's growing up, huh? <laughs> We're almost at 100. But uh, we want to bring in another uh, guest to uh, join in, uh, to side with one of us if we have any disagreements. Basically, that's all you're here for. Uh, Nick so <laughs> welcome back we have returning guest uh, we're gonna call you Lansing area comedian that works right, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Nick Leidorf is with us everybody hey. thanks thanks guys hey, for welcome. welcome yeah again. thanks for coming again yeah this, yeah you did um well and thank you for coming we wanted to make sure yeah, we thanks had for a coming back movie at for all. yeah <laughs> yeah absolutely <laughs> Yeah. Oh, poor I, Nick. I mean, I love doing this podcast, but at this point, I would do pretty much anything. At this point. <laughs> after, yeah, after your last experience, for sure. Uh-huh. No, just, I mean, if anything, anyone wants me to do anything, <laughs> on the, I, I just, I need to get away from my family. So this is. This, <laughs> yeah, man, save the Same. plugs for the end, right? You know, just, 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 <laughs> literally anything ever. <laughs> um, but yeah, last time that you were on awesome. the show, we had you in for uh, Flight of the Navigator. Oh. Uh, which yeah. was was quite the experience. Yeah, it was a pile of stinking shit. Yeah, I still was. wake up with nightmares. <laughs> yeah, watch that again. yeah you know, it's in Pee Wee Herman's voice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> it's become so uh, it's become quite the trope on the podcast now. To at yes. least it's not as bad as Flight of the Navigators. So. <laughs> well, I, I'm pretty sure that. Uh, uh, What's what's the Sex in the City lady? She has the same nightmares. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sarah Jessica Parker. Yeah, she, yeah, Sarah yeah. Jessica Parker has different. She nightmares. refuses to even uh, uh, even say that she was in the movie. She says she just forgot <laughs> yeah. it altogether. Oh, she's, nice. like, she's like, actually, they just brought a horse in, and then the horse played. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually think she's quite pretty, but. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so does yeah, everybody watching. At, at this point, they've been stuck in their house for so long that so they all agree. <laughs> Uh, all right so uh we always take uh, a second to to check in with you nick and find out how long had it been since you saw this movie before we made you watch it for the podcast oh, i mean probably since it came out I think okay that's, yeah yep so this was really not, uh, not high right. on your rewatch list huh no are you a, are you a jim carrey fan in general oh yeah for sure i just don't think i've ever i haven't rewatched a lot of his stuff in like a long time um, i get that i mean it's yeah. kind of a once you've seen it you see it and that's really yeah. all you need. i think um, thing- no i saw it seven <laughs> times in the theater <laughs> you know, i think the other thing too is just like being a lawyer too like watching courtroom kind of lawyer stuff it's kind of like i don't like i don't watch um you know, Law and Order. I don't do that. Sure. Um, well, see, my mom watches Law and Order, and I also work in the court yeah. system, and and she assumes that like yeah. everyone like don't they get witness protection? I'm like, no, right. mom. <laughs> we live we live in Kalamazoo. Like yeah. this is not you know yeah. NCIS or anything like that. Right. Yeah. 
right, right. So yeah, sorry that we've got a little too on the nose for this, but we thought you no, know. No, it's fine. I liked. I laughed. I was. Yeah, I laughed. He's, yeah, it's basically a cartoon version of what a lawyer is supposed to be. For sure. Of, right? yeah. yeah, it's it's um it's super. I mean, it was really funny. I mean, he, he obviously he just makes it. I mean, I just you know he's like just a, a, an amazing you know actor. I mean, it's just an amazing. Uh, you know, comedic actor was just like blowing my mind. I didn't I mean some of the jokes I even, I'm sure I, you know, it's been a long time. I just picked up on some other stuff that I missed in that like, yeah. 19 years ago when I watched it. But, <laughs> yeah. but, uh, did you yeah. wish, do you have like lawyers that you've like, that you know through work or whatever that you're like, God, I wish they could just not lie for one day. <laughs> oh yeah. There's there's <laughs> like a huge, like a no, great huge number of piles of shit lawyers that I have to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> on a regular basis well, i guess we should mention that uh, just in case no one's caught on to the fact but but yeah. nick you're a, a lawyer in real life right? correct I'm yeah he, he mentioned it uh, <laughs> yeah yep yeah. um, and you you have a podcast all about it so yeah we'll plug yep. that at the end for sure. yeah um so yeah i've been a lawyer for almost 14 years now so uh that'll yeah all right man that's yes. uh i mean no you don't look old enough to have been a lawyer for 14 <laughs> years yeah, i started off with just a big thick head of hair <laughs> uh, yeah, just i bet it's the sweatshirt it just makes you look so young <laughs> oh this is my dress sweatshirt i'm sorry i took <laughs> my work sweatshirt and i put on my dress sweatshirt for this so. No, oh, but we're, before we were started recording nick I, like as soon as he turned on his video he's like um, should I change this shirt? Because it's like it was I the just, first time he saw himself today. Yeah, he's like, wait, he's like, um, it just, it's not filming. I'll be right back. And no, then I, he comes back and I swear to God, it looks like he was wearing the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I did catch a glimpse of myself like, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, that was, That's uh, how I feel about just in general, like my whole face. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, oh, this is no good. Podcast diva, like, um, I'm not ready to go on camera right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we've had to make a transition for this ourselves man this is something mm -hmm. new that we're doing now yeah. with this uh this will be our third episode up on the youtube cool. so yeah it's been getting pretty decent uh, uh reception you know people seem cool. to be enjoying that aspect of it too so yeah good times but uh let's talk uh jim carrey classics anyway then what's uh what's top of list for you for jim carrey oh man um cable guy probably one of my favorites perfect uh, film yeah yeah I, it's so good and it's so, so it, dark and yeah. unexpected yeah. That's what it, I love it about is it. definitely dark yeah and the, it's it doesn't you know it's, it's unexpected like you see him and you're like oh he's gonna like pull his ass cheeks apart and fart out of his you know like <laughs> right. and then, like he just does this amazing dark character and i love it it's, yeah. it's so good and yeah there's i've watched that i've probably i think i saw that one in the theater probably like you know close to seven seven or eight times yeah. I love there that. you go thanks yeah. my friend i feel uh, better which now i feel like that's a very underrated uh jim carrey film which i i don't get yeah. i don't know why people hate that movie as much as they i don't do. know either because it's got matthew broderick in it too yeah. and that's a good i mean he's a good you know foil to jim carrey he's just mm -hmm. you know being jim carrey and um yeah i feel like matthew broderick is just that, that big of a square in real life like <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. I, I like i don't think he even had to act at all like I, i'm pretty sure that that's that was no, i read something about him and we were we just talked about flight of the navigator and his his, his wife uh is her i'm pretty sure yes. yeah yep. yeah uh-huh yeah, she said that he was super boring and, and like, <laughs> so, yeah um, i guess maybe that's the polarizing part of that film just no one watched it because it's got matthew broderick in it i think <laughs> Right. Maybe. Like, if it ain't the producers, I don't give a fuck. I'm not, I'm not on board. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what about you, Matt? What's your favorite Jim Carrey movie? Um, I don't. Uh, this one's got to be close to the top. Cable Guy is a huge one for me as well. Uh, this movie does skew dark too, kind of in a yeah, in a weird it way. Yeah. It's got a little, a couple more layers to it, but you know, yep. it it gets uh, a little more deep and a little more uh, pulls at the heartstrings a little more. So yeah. It's more emotionally to... dark, yeah. you know, right. and, um, like I deal with family law. So mm -hmm. like seeing that and like, all I can think of it when I was watching it was after this quarantine is over, <laughs> like all of the shit we're going to see. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, that's, we're going to see like so many, like she just moved to Boston. He, he yeah. couldn't see the kid because they were under yeah. quarantine. She like just left. Yeah. Like that's what I'm imagining is going to happen when I come back. But yeah. It is yeah. weird uh, to see, like, to watch this movie as a father and look at what he's experiencing and going like, oh, my God, I've been in that exact same experience. Sure, yeah. Like, you just go play, and I'll catch up with you as soon as I'm done. I'm just real yeah. busy right now. Yeah. And that's, like, every day. And right. 
<laughs> right. So it sucks. Yeah, man. I know. And it's, I think it's dark. I mean, you mentioned it's dark. I think it, that does hold true with lawyers and lawyers and people in like court system. They're definitely done. Their sense of humor does run a little dark, you know, sometimes. You have to. Yeah. It has to. Otherwise, you would literally go insane. Like, <laughs> <laughs> things that we say behind the scenes about people like would normally get people fired but everybody's like yeah i get it like right, right. yeah but, like i i want i was gonna watch this with my son but then i don't want him to be like oh that's just like you dad you just yeah. leave me all the time <laughs> <laughs> you have to go to work, to go to work. I'm like, oh, okay good you gotta schedule him in yeah <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right, let's kick this off with the uh i guess this is probably the first quote from the, the movie which god mm -hmm. if this woman didn't get beaten with a shovel for having a voice like this. I can't even believe it. Here we go. W. Oh. Oh, she's the perfect teacher voice. Oh, she's awful. Okay. When she says work here. Work. Oh. Today, we're <laughs> going to share what our parents do for work. I want to kill her. I want to, her mommy whole family. Done. My dad is a truck driver. <laughs> My mom's a teacher. And your dad. Um, thanks for assuming he has a dad. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Check that father privilege. <laughs> yeah. Or what if he has two moms? Like I thought that like this is definitely ninety-seven for sure. <laughs> what is a suit and goes to court and talks to the judge? Oh, oh I see. You mean he's a lawyer. Yeah, yeah. That's uh that's your whole job description, right? <laughs> there it is. Put on yep. a suit, go to court and talk to a judge. <laughs> yeah. Cash that, cash that paycheck. Done and done. <laughs> right, right. Like one of the kid, like because he, um, he's like he's a lawyer, and the kid like shrugs. Yeah. And, like or be like, listen, Same you little thing. shit. <laughs> like, your, dad, thing. your dad pays for this. You pays for all this stuff doing that. Give him a little respect. A little, get a little close to home for me. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that I would have even imagined what I what my parents did at the age of five. I right. think back. <laughs> True. Like, I would have never been able to say, like, this is what yeah. my parents do for a living. When I, was five years old. I knew my, my dad laid asphalt. Yeah. So I just, I, I, I don't think Lexi, my daughter right now is nine, and I really don't think she'd be able to give an accurate description of what I do. No, but you all. work at a, you, you, I mean, what you do, you're like Chandler from Friends. Like, it's not, it doesn't matter. You <laughs> work in a building, yeah. you know, it's yeah. not too interesting, you know. Right, I my daughter it. thinks that I I give kids that don't have parents parents, so she thinks I'm a fucking hero. Then hey, that's amazing. That. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did you guys ever do any of those like uh, bring your parents to work or to school day, or have you ever been one of the parents that go to school or anything like? You know how they career like, day. Yeah, career day. Show off your parents nonsense. Yeah. Because I don't recall ever doing that. I don't recall ever being in a room where that was happening. It's like, it just happens in the movies. It's like a trope for movies to right, right, right. explain what happens at home or whatever. I guess. Yeah, I don't think I ever was. Yeah. No, my parents would never anyways. Like, even <laughs> right, if yeah. it was a requirement for me to, like, move forward a grade, they would be like, fuck you. That yeah. is not happening. <laughs> yeah, like, my dad worked at a paper company or a landscaping company, and he'd have just been like, no, I have to go to work today because it's a school day. And, you know, right. It's a weekday, right? But <laughs> how much how much do you guys think that um it caught that um jim carrey made to make this movie how much like did just he get his made? salary for this film yeah do you know no I don't. I, i'm not i'm gonna stay out because i did look it up oh, okay. okay matt what do you think he Jesus. made um i don't know what i i did accidentally find out how much the movie made overall okay but i don't know how much it costs to make which means i have no idea what his uh i'm gonna i'm guessing it was probably pretty low because it's worthy of of mentioning um, so it's going to be one of those deals where it was like he made like uh, fifty thousand dollars or something or something. No, he like made that. twenty million. Oh my god! Okay, which was pretty much unheard of for the time. Like this yeah. was one of those like wow. we're going to start paying actors like a shit ton. Like yeah. he like where was blazed this? that trail. Where was this in the Ace Ventura uh, era? It was then? well, it was after Ace Ventura. He was originally supposed to. Um, to be, he was originally supposed to be in one of the movies that we covered, but he couldn't do it because he was in this movie. Okay. So, um, oh, fuck it, man. Yeah. I got a feeling I'd, I would too. For, yeah. 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 For sure. All it was, gotta do yeah, for $20 million? Dollars? Yeah, yeah. Just put on a suit and go talk to a judge for 20 million bucks. Yeah. Hell yeah. I, I got other... that he like earned every penny of that. <laughs> yes. This, this, he is acting out of his just crazy stuff he's doing. It's so amazing. Like, he, yeah, he's like, paid this. Like, no one else could do this. When he beats himself up in the bathroom, oh they, didn't, 
They did not even add sound effects. That was literally the sound of his like head hitting the toilet so and his head hitting the wall. Like it was insane. So good. Yeah. Like you, uh, can't, you can't put anyone else in this film and have it succeed. Like there's definitely no, not. I, was, I was trying to like who can you who could do this? Like no one. I don't think you can get anybody that could really do this. I think they considered Steve Martin for a short oh, minute, but I, I still so. think by the time that he, this came out, he was already old. He was yeah, like, it wouldn't have been nearly know. as physical. Like I feel like this is a type of movie where you could mute it and still enjoy the film. Oh, like, absolutely. Just watching him act, you know. Yeah. When he is my okay, so my ultimate favorite part, and my husband, I watched his face when this part came on because I was like, I hope he likes it as much as I do. Yeah. When he, she's like, "What's your case?" and he's like. And then he puts his fingers oh in his God. mouth and he's like, Ooh. I can't say it. Yeah. Uh, and he's, he's like, my case is simply this. <laughs> like, oh. Now, I do pull clips from these movies and I, I decided not to pull a bunch of those clips just because it's all yeah. gibberish and nonsense. Yeah. Um, I did, however, pull one of his, uh, it, it's a re- returning gag in the movie. Uh, we get it right at the beginning here. And of course, uh, don't be alarmed, everybody, because uh, it's the claw, you know. Oh, you found the claw's only weakness. Sub zero temperatures. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, uh, in, I just in want an Jim interview, Carrey to be my dad in that right? Moment, you know, not when he's in, like. In, yeah, life. when he's absentee. Yeah, yeah, I just want him to be my dad and just forget my birthday and, you know. <laughs> um, no, he said in an interview that um, the claw is actually something that his dad used to do to him and his siblings. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. See, and so. again, he just, he brought that to the movie. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> right. you know, yeah. it, that wasn't written in there. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's a very uh, police academy moment without uh, LeVar Jones there. I mean, where oh, you, right. where you right. at, you know. But yeah, he does. He gives a Carrie Yules. Is that how we're saying his name? Carrie Ellis. Ellis? I, Ellis. I have always said Ellis. Okay. Yeah. I don't know him, if that's right. It gives him the opportunity to pull out the, you know, the yeah. claw. <laughs> you're, gotcha. you're scared of the claw. You're scared of the he claw. He is so amazing. Like the the no fact good that he plays, this. Yes, he is such an an, an incredible douche. A magoo. In yeah. A magoo. Magoo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, but he, uh, but he is like you know he's the hero in Princess Bride. He is the bad guy, like the killer mm-hmm. in um, I Kiss the Girls. He's just he has such a huge range. I love him so much. Right. He turns out to be a bad guy in Saw too, doesn't he? Like the oh, I don't thing. watch Saw because I'm not psychotic. Sure. Like, yeah. In only people franchise. that are psychotic like those movies. Like, yeah. I, oh wow. I completely agree. I'm totally taking your side. Um, yeah. So- <laughs> I cannot watch those movies because I think no. my parents loved me when I grew yeah. up. Sure. Yes. <laughs> Why do people watch that shit? Yeah, because so, they so are you crazy. guys probably don't watch torture porn either, right? No. Oh, no. Well, oddly enough, yes. I, <laughs> yeah, know. Sure. I know, right? I'm like, wait a minute. That was what was on the front of the other sweatshirt, right? It was just like... <laughs> I watch I watch torture porn. Yeah. It, it dot com. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, save your plugs for the end. <laughs> All right. Um. So we had. Uh, I I was watching this and I immediately thought of everyone being in quarantine and like the day they let. Every, oh, by the way, we're still in like COVID nineteen quarantine right now. Yes. In case. Oh, are we? I've, 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 I've been, it's been going out and doing. <laughs> So no, like, I'm going to duck today. out of the picture for a second because I dropped my notes. So okay. continue. Um, I just assume everyone busting out of their house and looking like this lady. Hi, Mr. Reed. Whoa. Hey. Did you do something to your hair? <laughs> it's a bit extreme, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I mean, that's that's a thing nowadays, right? Well, he said it would accent my facial features. For oh, sure. That's what it does. You can accent your facial features. <laughs> We're just going to go down to my office now. <laughs> yeah, like every, this, everyone's going to show off their, like, uh, COVID cuts, you know? Right. And isn't that, that's Sherry O'Terry, isn't it? No, I don't no. think so. If it is, it's a very young, very young Sherry I've O'Terry. Seen her before. Let's see. Mandy, do you know? Get your headphones back on. <laughs> Come on, be professional. <laughs> hey, do you know who the lady is with the weird uh, hair, pointy hair things? Is she somebody? pull your pull your headphones down so we can hear you yeah you can go. you hear me now yes um okay i just want to say totally my notes not only fell behind the couch 
they went under the kegerator. Oh no. <laughs> so I was like, I had to like move. The, I was like, oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. I thought maybe you um, found yes. no, notes from a different movie. We're going to just I know, right? Seriously. Together. It's like Narnia <laughs> under there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, it's Sherry, Sherry O'Terry. Yes. Oh, look at that. Hang on. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, for right. sure. Because didn't She's we? She's like, hi, we... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, that's my facial features. While you were while you were gone, I played that clip, and I just I said that that's what people are going to bust out of their house during yeah. or after quarantine. They're just going to be like, "Look what I did while I was at home," you know. Um, I totally cut my daughter's hair, but she's yeah. five, so who cares? Yeah, who cares? Right, right? Right. Uh, I need a haircut so bad. It's ridiculous. <laughs> that's something I will never be able to say again. <laughs> right. You can have some of mine, dude. Do you guys have any uh, standout parts uh, of the movie or particular performances that like were game changers for you that like really stood out at all, or just a part of the movie that that you really enjoyed? Because I'm hoping I have maybe a clip for it or something. So. Um, I liked his interactions with the judge uh, it, in the various scenes that they were <laughs> they were um, were there. Like the one scene where he's he's asking him for good cause for the a continuum, like to move the case. That yep. one's really good. Uh, oh, what really was what I really liked is right at the beginning where the judge comes down at, like, and he asks, the, how, how are you guys doing? And uh, the late, lady attorney was like, oh, I'm good. And then he's like, oh, I was just getting over a, a subpar sexual experience yeah. last night. Yes. <laughs> It'll happen more and more. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, judge, yeah, judge Stevens is played by Jason Bernard. Yeah. um which we went to high school with a jason bernard so that's funny yeah. um yeah. but he he's he died in 96 so oh, no. yeah rips to judge stevens bummer i like uh, it when he's like honorable <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> don't, don't write that down yeah that's yeah. Uh, no, so great okay, i think uh, my favorite is probably the roast scene where he sure excuse me or he goes me, into the meeting yeah let me hit the uh, so this is uh when he's questioning kenneth falk on the stand and he, oh, he objects to his own questions. <laughs> <laughs> this guy looks like a dinosaur. Like if dinosaurs were alive. Is entirely platonic. I object, Your Honor. <laughs> to yourself? But I'd yeah. like to rephrase the question. <laughs> uh, Mr. Falk, would I be accurate if I described your relationship with Mrs. Cole as totally professional? I object, Your Honor, and I move to strike! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Reed, I don't know what you're on. But you better get to the point and quick. Thank you. Is your relationship with my client entirely platonic? Not! It's not your relationship with my client! <laughs> point! Dead, baby, dead, baby! Did you ever not make a <laughs> Mr. Reed! You had sex with her every time you met, didn't you? Didn't you? Liar! He's badgering the witness. It's his witness. You slammed her, you ducked her donut, you gave her dog a sausage! You stuffed her like a Thanksgiving turkey! <laughs> <laughs> Love it. It's the greatest. Yeah. So great. Oh, it's Everybody amazing. in that room had to stare oh. at him do that and not break. I, I oh, can't yeah. imagine how many takes it took yeah. to get those down. Extras were working hard on that day. For sure. Yeah. Right. Well, like, and that's why like the blooper scene is so amazing I, because you know. That, I feel like this is one of the first movies that we've done that had like a blooper reel. Like mm -hmm. this was the era so. when that started. Like that became a thing kind of near this era. I wish oh, they me. still did it. Like, I wish that shows still did it. I wish yeah. that, you know, it was like a regular thing. Cause that's now always it's just like fun. extra content. You have to like go online and you can see yeah. our blooper reel or whatever. Right. right. Um, do you have when the pen is blue? Do you have any of that? I just have this. When the pen is blue. The pen is blue. God damn it, pen is blue. <laughs> so my daughter so, walked into the room yeah. while that was on. And uh -huh. we, we had to try to explain to her what was happening. Like, she hadn't seen it earlier. And so we're like, he can't lie. And he's trying to say that this pen is red. And then she watched him go through all that and was like, all right, I'm done. I'm out of here. <laughs> that is hilarious. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but, like, it says blue, you know, all over his face. But then, yeah. like, in, like, the bottom of his face, it says BB King. Because no. of blues. Because of the blues. Oh, funny. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. But, like, among all the blues, there That's was funny. blues. Yeah. Well, hmm. well, I noticed that. Well, well, and also, the one of the things I don't think that I have ever noticed, and I haven't watched it since I did the research because my rental ran out, but um, the 
during the scene when he flies off into the baggage, mm-hmm. he when there is this, they have like the cameras just pointing at the stretcher. He is dressed up like Fire Marshal Bill, and he's on the radio in the crowd. What? Oh, so where, yeah. So yeah. if anybody go, if now that you're listening to this, if you want to go back and watch it, cool. like, and it said it in multiple sources because I was like, ah, this might be like stupid, and they're lying, and right, I'm like, yeah. no, I I saw it like three or four different times. So. I know. All right. Um, I my biggest part of this movie, it's a combination of both of these parts together. But here's uh, here's the first part of it. Baseball stuff. Baseball stuff. I say that constantly. <laughs> by the way, anytime someone's opening a gift in front of me, it just scream <laughs> baseball stuff. Baseball for stuff. That is hilarious. Can, can, can we play that? Can we play? And then Absolutely. here's where it gets real sad. Yay! <laughs> right after your party tonight. Oh. You and me. What about now? <laughs> so rude. So we get that, and then that becomes in combination with this, which is one of the best things that's, av- that's ever happened in a movie. Happy birthday, Max. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Such a magoo. One for good luck. He struck the child. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> when he Whoa, says... Oh, great. <laughs> Enjoy my life. life. When he turns to him and says, great gift, dad, it's, it, I cannot not laugh every time. <laughs> hey, you know what? I have my glove in the car. Maybe we can stop at the park on the way home and play catch. And I rub oil in it and wrap a big rubber band around it. It's great. I was going to save that hey, for the end great clip. great gift, dad. Thanks, son. <laughs> I'm so glad my gift could bring those two together. I plan to fix Thanks, myself son. out. It's almost complete. Oh, I love it. And it's not even his fault. It's Greta. Something's come up. And we need yeah. Yeah, whatever. Greta right. bought the baseball stuff. Also, <laughs> also a great actress. Thought Greta just killed it. His right. secretary or whatever she was. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Anne Haney also rips to her. Rips to Greta. Oh no. She died. No one. Yeah, she was in Mrs. Doubtfire, and we did that one. So. Yeah, that was. I remember her being in that. Yeah. I like in in the. There's a theme in the movie where he calls his kid creepy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up, creepy? Like, <laughs> So it's just out yeah. of the ball. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I wonder if that's, that seems like that's probably improvised. I don't think that you would write like it. scripted. Yeah, right. I yeah. feel like everything in this movie is improvised that yeah. is him. Yeah. Like, they I were do. like, okay, now Jim Carrey acts like Jim Carrey. Yeah. And now moving right, on right. to the next person. Yeah. yeah. I want to hit the, uh, the insult meeting that you were talking about, Manny. Oh, yes. So, so here's good. that. He's a pedantic, pontificating, pretentious. Also, I almost uh, brought you into the podcast using this, uh, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> He's a you should have. A pretentious <laughs> bastard, a belligerent old fart, a worthless steaming pile of cow dung. Figuratively speaking. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest damn thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good roast. All right. I mean, there's more. I don't think we. Oh have yeah. All right. Uh, but yeah, it's a great, great scene, and it's a real uh, turn for him when he, because she, for some reason, his, uh, the whatever her name is, I forget what the woman's name is that he's trying to Audrey partner with. Um, oh, um, 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 um Miranda. Yes, Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> she she overhears him talking to Greta about how he can't tell a lie, and then she just decides to believe him, like. Right. Some sort right. of witchery and nonsense is like okay in this realm <laughs> right. somehow. But but I don't know like what why I was thinking about like what does she gain from I don't know why she like doesn't she want someone I don't know it, it doesn't make it, well like, she's it mad at she like how we I've, got there. I don't understand how we got there I've had better <laughs> yeah she's yeah. mad at him because he had oh. better oh, it was the, right, the right. bad sexual experience that's right that's right <laughs> but I just don't see the point of getting rid of him in that way I get well yeah yeah. So uh, I wanted to ask you too, Nick, uh, yeah. have you ever been uh, approached by a news crew after a, a case at all? I have. Okay. I have. Yeah. Because I thought Sometimes, that would be pretty like unrealistic uh, unless it was like a super high profile case right, or whatever. Right. Um, it didn't, doesn't happen often, but most often with the press, they'll just take pictures in the courtroom of like really mean, unflattering like pose. Like I don't, I should you be able to other say, on? yeah, if you're going to put your shit in your paper, I should be able to be able to like, because it's always just me like, uh, like half with my eyes. <laughs> like, you know, I'm like, Who is this shit bag lawyer? My God. And, so it's always, yeah, I never get any to get control the spin on the media. It's always oh. 
terrible picture. But like one time it did happen, and I was just like, I don't want to talk to you guys right now. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but I was because all the lawyers that always want to talk, it's like you're not helping anybody. So right. it's just like it's just look at me, kind of a thing. And I do stand up, so I can get to do that, you know, in my right. own life. <laughs> so, yeah. I just thought it was strange that he got approached and like whoever he was. Uh... The, it was for that case that he had just won where that guy like the guy that keeps breaking the law right like it's right, it didn't right. seem like it was anybody impressive or fancy and they were just like yeah. must have been a real um, news day i guess i don't know yeah. speaking of that guy did you recognize him uh, um he looks like all? jesse the body ventura i don't know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> no he was his his name is randall craig okay. um but he, or Randall Craig Cobb, but everybody calls him Tex, I guess. But he is oh, the guy. Oh, Cobb. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They, um, he's the guy in East Ventura when he's like beating up the car and he's like, warning, assholes are closer than they appear. And he's like, <laughs> beat, he's beating him up. He's not in the credits, but he's like a cameo. Oh, okay. Hmm. That's funny. And he was also in Golden Child, but I know Matt hasn't seen that. Yeah, movie. I have not okay. seen that movie. Yeah. Okay. All right, we are getting to just about the end of the first half here, so we're going to do a little activity with you, Nick. Um, yes. We do that with all of our guests, and it has its own theme song, and that theme song is right here. Chop this, chop this synopsis. <laughs> chop this synopsis. Sorry. <laughs> the Deggy? Synopsis. No. No, everyone asked that. Yeah, no, it is not Deggy. That was given to us by Mr. Bob Fredericks. Oh wow! That was recorded wow. in the uh, his voice. Good was, lord! Right, it was recorded in his car on his lunch break uh, at work. So that's the saddest <laughs> story I've ever heard. Oh, and, and that was not the that was not the only version. There were yeah. multiple. <laughs> yeah, I had to edit that together to make it into what it was. So yeah, that's our. But it's been uh, amazing though. We've had so many. I at least have friends that like will literally like walk by singing it. So this, this synopsis. <laughs> I love it. You really bring it home at the end. It's yeah, great. at the end. Um, so what we're going to do is play a game called Chop the Synopsis. And in this game, we like for you to take the film Liar Liar and break it down, chop it down to 10 words or less to describe this movie. So like a little blurb about it, something you're going to put on the back of a DVD or, you know, on the little queue for Netflix to click on. But you're going to have the break to figure it out. So we'll take okay. a break. You'll have some Hey, time. look at my cat. <laughs> oh. I had a nickel. Sorry. All right. um, <laughs> <laughs> so you'll get the break to figure it out and then we will come back and rejoin with a new meeting and then we will be right back after these messages hey i'm mike logan i'm garrett elzinga and, and this, this better, better be good. good you know what it is it's a weekly podcast where garrett and myself two professional comedians review a movie before seeing it and review it again after seeing it and this is an ad for our podcast yeah, it's true you can find our podcast on all podcasting platforms um apple Podcasts, google play Spotify. It's Stitcher. everywhere. Except for SoundCloud, because fuck SoundCloud. That's what we used to use, and now we use Anchor. Anchor's fantastic. You guys should check it out. It's true. Um, if you like movies, and you like funny anecdotes, and we also talk about movie news, and we've got witty, great banter, download our podcast now. If you're listening to this podcast, odds are pretty good you'll like our podcast. It's true. We're incredibly funny, incredibly witty. I love Mike a whole lot. I don't know if he loves me as much as I love him. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, download our podcast wherever you uh, listen to podcasts, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Hey, I'm Mike Logan. I'm Garrett Elzinga. And, and that, that was, was an ad. Good. Oh, okay. Well, that was clever. Yeah. Well. Uh, all right. So we are back, and it is time for the rousing conclusion of Chop This Synopsis. So Nick, if you could please regale us with your 10-word or less synopsis of the film Liar, Liar. All right. Um, so, ten words or less. I said, lawyer discovers how to get better at lying. That's really <laughs> yeah, that's the moral of the story, basically. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's only eight. I had two other words, so I just <laughs> two of those. Put them in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. Or if Sam Rager were here, she'd just be like titties. <laughs> yeah, <just end. laughs> that's delightful. <laughs> <laughs> one word laugh which, so you, might as well use which that is speaking of titties the one person that we have not talked about yet is jennifer tilly yeah yeah and no, how I mean, amazing she is i didn't well, speak notice of titties i don't know who it was i was just <laughs> mostly focused on in the building uh, yeah, yikes Mondays. oh you like it so far mm -hmm. everybody's been real nice <laughs> well that's because you have big jugs <laughs> <laughs> Your boobs are huge. I mean, I want to squeeze them. <sighs> Mama. 
So uh, I feel like this movie could have been called uh, Not Able to Not Tell the Truth, I guess. Like, there, there's no reason he needed to say any of that to that exactly. woman. Exactly. That's exactly right. Yep. He was not compelled to do so right. for any reason. Yeah. Well, my five-year-old must not be able to lie either because she oftentimes tells me, like, Mama, you're fat. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Today I had a baggy shirt on. She's like, you don't even look fat in that. Nice. I was like, oh, thanks, baby. <laughs> We, we planted a fairy garden during quarantine. I thought it would be a nice thing for her to do because she's an only yeah. child. Sure. And she was like, Is it, maybe they'll shrink me down and put me in the fairy world, which was a fucking backfire because obviously <laughs> that's not going to happen. <laughs> like in, in the fairy world, you can be anything. Mama, in the fairy world, you're not even going to be fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I, like, she says it with such hope and like <laughs> excitement in her voice. Like, I have like... When I backhand her, it makes me feel really bad about it. Well, you should have known better. You're not supposed to be fucking gardening anyway. <laughs> you not listen to the governor? Well, I'm hoping the fairies will plant my garden. Right. But anyway, like, kids just have that honesty about them. So, uh, But yeah, I thought Jennifer Tilly, I, I actually think she's really great in, in yeah. everything that she's ever been in. I think yeah. she, I, I love her voice. Like, I can't I, do it, but... Right. <laughs> driven yeah. into the arms of another man yeah i've got Seven. the clip if we want to yeah. we want to dig that. into that one it's long but we'll we'll talk through it mrs cole the only problem here is that after you've provided years of faithful service and loving support mm. of raising his children they are his uh, oh yeah yeah <laughs> One for sure. One for sure. One for sure. Oh, well, your husband wants to buy you a fair share of the marital assets based on one single act of indiscretion. His Canadian really Are comes out in this speech, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Process. Process. <laughs> seven a boot. acts of indiscretion, only one of which he has any evidence of, and all of which he himself is responsible for. Would you take this case, Nick? Um... No, no. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it's so funny too. Like, Driven not to talk over this one too much. Yeah, but, no, go ahead. Um, but it's like people think that the lawyers are the ones lying, and like, we're, yeah, they're not. I mean, it's just not to defend lawyers because we're as a as a profession, there's a lot of shit bags that are lawyers, but like. <laughs> But like, in the defense of the profession, like you don't get up there and lie. Like you may have clients that are pieces of shit that will lie. Right. But like, and you can't like. There's sometimes I probably know that someone's maybe not, maybe not telling the truth. Yeah. But like I can't prove it, right? So right, like, right. but if I know someone's not telling the truth, like there's there's the um there's the lawyer that that uh, is in this movie. Who's like the really straight laced guy? Well, I'm not gonna lie or whatever. Well, no, no one's asking you to lie, right? Yeah. I mean, like, well, she is apparently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, like, yeah. I think that's just they kind of had that little misconception of like, yeah, because uh, like in the courtroom scene, like Manny, I'm sure you've seen this before too. Like, like he's asking, so it's his witness, and right. he's asking questions which are completely leading questions. Like you can't, yeah. you can't do that. At all. <laughs> and he knows that he yeah. knows the answer is going right. to be a lie, so he yeah, can't right. ask. Yeah. So yeah, the the point, like the like, I get it's like we're supposed to suspend disbelief and stuff, and all yeah. that. Stuff. But that's why sometimes I don't like watching lawyer stuff because I'm like, that's not how it works, damn it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, and as I'm watching it, all I can think is, if she wasn't old enough to sign a prenup, then mm -hmm. she wasn't old enough to sign a marriage license. Right. right. That, that's what I was going to ask. So does that void the marriage altogether then? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would. Yeah. I common mean, law, I guess. I guess like after seven so many years. years. Of common law, but right. it depends on if the state allows common law marriage. Yeah, and I mean. So I was trying to think through that scenario too. Like, let's say that I mean, because she lied, so mm -hmm. she lied to get that to to sign that agreement and to sign that. So when when this is super boring. So this is no, like, like oh, I am not bored. Everyone <laughs> that has ever watched this movie probably has the same question. So, so like, so when you have contract law, right? So that's what well, a prenuptial agreement is contract. So when a contract doesn't apply because of some situation like this. Then you, you look to something what's called equity. Like, so then that's like an old English term where like stuff that happens outside of the contract, I can hear people falling asleep right now. Uh -huh, no, uh, it's so, I love it. <laughs> okay. So, um, so many people are getting divorced during the, after the quarantine's over. They're like listening right. so hard right now. I can tell you. <laughs> um, so when, so when something doesn't, uh, so then it, equity is like, so what, would what's the best that scenario that you can create out of a situation where we didn't anticipate kind of that really kind of boils all that down but you, the one of the principles of equity is you have to have clean hands 
when you're in that situation. And clean hands in the situation wouldn't award her with 20, what was it, 11 or 20 million dollars? Yeah. 11.2 million dollars yeah so like that like that's a clever like use of contract law but then like it doesn't really play out that way i don't think because a judge would probably be like okay well ma'am you lied to get into this situation you can't have it both ways yeah right you know so i don't know that's just kind of yes like, just in, thank uh, you just that is exactly all, what i thought watch me fucking lawyer their shit out of that. <laughs> Also, just so we're all aware, I just Googled uh, the age of consent in 1997 <laughs> in the state of California, yeah. uh, which was 18 years old. So oh. technically, I think she's got him on, uh, what's that? Rape. Rape? <laughs> rape? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe that's a way to get half of his assets without yeah. dealing with the contract. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Lion bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. why would anyone want to do that well the thing is too is that she is so horrible to those kids and, oh, the, the, kid, yeah. and the kids in the courtroom are like the worst actors ever which i get right. they're small children <laughs> right, like right, i right. understand right. but like as a parent like how she is treating them and yeah. i know that this happens like people are so vindictive in divorces sure. that this is they just want to hurt each other yeah. Yeah. and i'm just like oh this is so heartbreaking so like watching this this time especially being a mom of a small child i'm like and i've been with her 24 yeah. hours a day for the last eight weeks or however <laughs> yeah. eight years oh however long we've been quarantined i just can't imagine like hurting her feelings like that when she's like, you haven't paid for them yet. Oh, right. it's oh worse. God. It's, it's like being a lawyer too. Like when everyone, someone brings, cause I do a lot of criminal defense. So like when people bring their kids to court, it's always like, God oh, damn it. Just stop. Like it's never ends well at all. It's They're like, not going to lock me up if yeah. I have my kids right. with me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, like, they are. And now CPS is coming yeah. to pick your children up. <laughs> Absolutely right. Like, bring your kid if you got a, like, got a speeding ticket or a parking ticket. Not right. You got your third DUI. Don't bring your kids to fucking court. So, because it, and then they don't, then they, like, they talk all the time, which is like, it's like, like, being at a show and just someone's constantly heckling, like, <laughs> the judge. <laughs> And except the the judge has the bailiff that can kick the people out of the court. Like we don't have that. Thing. Well, and uh, most judges, I feel like, wouldn't let kids in there. I know. Um, I know. Yeah. You would think that would make less. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, I don't know. I'm gonna try to get to the end. Hold on. Of Nick Lidar for judge. Is that ever coming? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna manage your campaign. It'll be amazing. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, I did offer to give him joint custody of the kids. Oh. He is, after all, a wonderful father. Wonderful and how does he repay you? By dragging you through a painful litigation process. No, 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 no. can't happen. <laughs> With all due respect, this isn't about you, Mr. Cole. This is about all women. Where would Tina Turner be right now if she oh, this is so great. And said, hit me again, Ike, and put some stank on it. On it. Roll on the river, that's where she'd be. <laughs> it's not on the river. She decided to send a message. Wake up, sisters. There's no such thing as a weaker sex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you played that. Uh, I love it. I died. <laughs> Well, and the whole time, Miranda is looking at him like, oh, my God, he is insane. Yeah. But, yeah. like, this ignorant, dumbass woman is like, yeah, I'm right. the victim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and also, you said uh, make sure you bring your kids to a uh, traffic, if you get a traffic ticket, and that, of yeah. course, segues oh, yes. into this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take it from the top. Here goes. I sped. I followed too closely. I ran a stop sign. I almost hit a Chevy. I sped some more. I failed to yield at a crosswalk. I changed lanes in the intersection. I changed lanes without signaling while running a red light and speeding. Is that all? No. <laughs> yeah. I have unpaid parking tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Be gentle. Uh, so amazing. That man yeah. broke so many fucking laws that day. Right. Like he's going to jail for a long time. <laughs> uh, it's all, I know only what they can prove. It's only what the cops saw. <laughs> yeah, I no, I mean, like, he hijacked a set of stairs and oh, yeah. boarded yeah. an airplane. Like, That's he's right. going to, like, he's like they, I broke both my legs, so they can't take me to jail right away. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I also wanted to point out this guy uh, clearly is living in 1997 and not living in 2020 uh, right now. Happy, 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 happy. I'm so happy today. Why? It's horrible. It's so horrible. 
<laughs> he's like, I live in the USA. I was like, oh, that's, that's sad. <laughs> Not a reason to be happy anymore. <laughs> well, and too, like, this is pre 9 11. So it's before, like, all the airplane, like, catastrophe. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. so there was, like, it was like, oh, whatever, a slap on the wrist for stealing a luggage right. thing. And, and then it went, there's so many people that run into each other and so yeah. many different pieces of luggage get mixed up. Like, yeah. like this is a nightmare. Like, this is actually, he's the villain of this movie. Yeah, for sure. Fucking over all these people that aren't going to get their stuff. <laughs> you played that clip of the clown and, like, mm. then they, like, couple, like, uh, scenes after that, they show the kid blowing up the candles and the clown is still there. Yeah. There's no way I'm letting the clown <laughs> stay around. <laughs> Maybe he's a family out. friend. I don't know. Did he you? was like borderline blackface too. Like it was real. Oh, like yeah, it was yeah, very yeah. dark. Right, right. <laughs> Pulled all your scarves or whatever, and I just get out. I paid you. Just leave. Yeah. I'll vent you. Yeah. But it was fun because I feel like that was part of, uh, like the mechanic of the movie. They had to make it be late at night. Like they had to make him oh. make the wish at like eight fifteen. So the later he waited for his dad before that happened, the longer the next right. day was going to be because if he had just blown out his candles at noon it would have been like well whatever we're done well, yeah i mean yeah. kids birthday parties are like at one right like, i know it's not gonna, yeah and he like held out for his dad to get there but like right. kept the clown hostage too so, yeah, yeah. Me as, a, as a parent i was like you're pumping this kid full of sugar right at 8 15 at night this is nuts <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah not happening. also for me too i was watching them like they were preparing for the party and i'm looking around the room as they're preparing and i'm like there are way too many fucking plates and cups man they had <laughs> yeah. like 400 plates in the background of this right. fucking movie i was like come on right. calm down but, yeah. <laughs> after you watch the movie uh, three times you know you start looking at weird shit in the background yeah do we want to play our other games while we have time we very much should yes uh <laughs> what do you want to do let's do uh box office stuff box you know? office there yeah go. this also has a theme song it's new since you've been involved i think Ooh, okay. brought to us by um, let's see if you can figure out who it is oh. all right box office theme song <laughs> That was an impromptu during the show uh, theme song was created. Okay. Box office theme song. I mean, again, I'm just going to go to Deggy. Or... No, it was Mr. <laughs> Stu McAllister. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, the he's been... I've ever heard Stu in, in my life. I've never heard of that before. <laughs> and he had a shirt on. He was wearing a shirt when he True. sang that yeah. song. So. Okay. Box All office right. theme song. We were like, we need a box office theme song. And then he just sang that. So I was like, we're taking that. We're going to do this. <laughs> So. All right, so how much do you guys think it costs to make this movie? Uh -oh. We already talked about that Jim Carrey was $20 million. <laughs> so that's right off the top. <laughs> right, yeah. It's, it's probably like 20500000 20, <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Well, they had to pay the clown, too. So. Yeah. <laughs> What's his day rate? <laughs> no, the clown was under community service because he oh, had yeah. molested somebody. Like, oh, y'all got, got craft services over there? That sounds <laughs> good to eat today. That's fine. <laughs> um, I'm going to say, I'll say $32 million. Okay. All right, I'm going to say this movie was like $45 million. That's oh cool. my god, it was 45 million. No Whoa. shit. Look yes, good job. Fling, 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 fling. All right. Matt like hardly ever nails it up right, no, right yeah. up. Yeah, that was perfect. For a minute, wow. like, during the mid swing of this, I started getting them pretty close. And yeah. then now it seems recently I'm just completely off the rails. Like I yeah. all right. Or money movie make. Okay, so Matt is out of this because he knows how much the movie made. I think roughly. They I found out roughly someone was like, it made over this amount of money. And I was like, yeah. oh shit. So, right. so um, Nick, how much worldwide gross up until this point do you think that this movie has made? Wow. Um, so this is 97 up until now, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, I'll say 130 million. Okay. Matt, what was what you heard? I heard it made over three hundred million. Holy shit! Three hundred and two point seven million dollars. Oh, yes. Jesus Christ! Oh my! God. And they didn't do a sequel. Yeah, how did which they not totally do a sequel? Totally is crazy. I thought they. Yeah. You know, watching it again, I thought they set it up kind of well for that. Yeah. Too. I thought there was at the end and like. The kid just being able to wish shit, I thought yep. that in, its, in and of itself would be a really good... Yeah, then we get liar, 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 you know. After <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So I generally don't like this kind of movie. This movie has a very has very much of a, uh, like the Groundhog Day vibe to it. Yeah. Where something mystical and weird happens with like no justification. Like mm -hmm. nobody talks about why this kid had a magic wish. 
Yeah. Nobody talks about necessarily what caused the parameters of his wish to be a thing. Yeah. So, I don't know. Well, you, you like Groundhog Day, right, though, Matt? You like, you like that movie? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Well, <laughs> well, he did until yeah. we were forced to watch it a million times. I remember, I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. I've come back <laughs> around to it, I think. I can yeah. watch it again now and be okay with it. Okay. Yeah. Well, because that's yeah, a sense of no villain. Like, there's no, there's nobody that caused this general sad thing that happened. Sure. And it's not like today he did anything more particularly terrible than he has over the last two years that they've been separated. I, I guess maybe this is the first time he missed his actual birthday, but yeah, I, I don't know. But there's no. Well, justice I don't think this is the first time he's missed anything. <laughs> right. He sounds like a horrible father. Yeah, he doesn't sound good. Well, he does right. talk about like this is the father that I started out to be, so he probably was into it pretty. Well, when the they were together, yeah, yeah, maybe. I don't know. And he's like, I've been fired. Isn't that great? When Greta, you know, bails him out, you know, that's kind of how I feel with this quarantine. I'm like, you know what? Like, I could, I could do this. Like, I could, yeah. I could drive, I could drive Lyft <laughs> and just be with my kid, you know, when yeah. she's not in school. For sure, yeah. You know? Well, I've been working and get from murdered. Home. I've been working from home for the last several weeks and I'm just like, I don't know if I'm ready to go back. <laughs> I know. I, honestly, and this is something probably a lot of people are feeling, but like I got like choked up today talking to my boss because I worked um, about Brag. my kid going back to daycare. Well, wow. it was the only day I worked this week. Yeah. So, and I have spent so much time with my kid, which if you would have asked me six weeks ago, if that was something that I wanted to do, I would be like, <laughs> fuck no <laughs> but like because it's forced on us yeah I, okay. I have really like she has grown so much in just a month and a half she's five so like everything's like a milestone yeah. but like i i feel like she has become like this mature like sweet i don't know and maybe it, yeah. she was always like that and i just got to see it so it's it's gonna be like to send her to daycare for 10 straight hours every day is gonna fucking ruin yeah my life yeah, at least for, sure. for a couple of weeks i am gonna have a hard time she's gonna have a hard time so people it is weird you're listening you're not alone yeah, you, yeah and you do see people out like walking and doing things with their their immediate family like more yeah. often than i've ever seen before so yeah. i mean i guess there are some things about this that are like bringing people closer together but yeah same i have ridden a bike every day for the last six weeks rain or shine yeah, yeah. because i need to get her fresh air so she'll fall the fuck to sleep yeah same. and yeah, yeah. Nick, how do you? How are you like dealing with this whole thing? I feel like we do need to capture this and ask our guests. Like, yeah, how, how um, you doing, dude? I I actually I, I know it's it's taken a pandemic, I guess, for me to figure out like what I want to do with like the rest of my life. I think, yeah. and how I want to practice and have a career. And um, I don't think I'm I, I'm seriously considering not going back to like a full-time brick and mortar office and like just work from home a lot. Yeah. And like, yeah. And then, um, have like a place where I can meet people at the office, uh, at like an office kind of a situation, but I don't think I need that. I, can, I think I can get virtual, uh, help. Um, you know, just having people, I, you know, all my stuff, I had to automate all of my stuff that I, that I would bring in clients with like, right. you know, intake questionnaires all kinds of stuff like that so i'm really um optimized you're prepared yeah it was, yeah you're prepared now right yeah it made me like um make that decision which i didn't think i was gonna like but i loved it i mean sure. i really like like staying at home I mean, not, and not that this is like the same sort of thing but it's pushing a lot of people to do things that they normally wouldn't have like, yeah for a lot sure of people getting like groceries delivered or learning how to use apps and shit right. like older people that are like yeah would have never figured out how to do any of this stuff and it's pushed yeah. them into that where they just have to like yeah. well, okay and we live in the like part of like the third like the seventh circle of hell in the <laughs> winter time yeah sure. so this also proves that you know what i don't have to risk my life to get yeah, on a day that is yeah. super super bad out right. yeah i just i feel like a lot of things are going to change so. yeah, yeah. I think so too. Yeah. Anyway, good right, serious let's get, talk. Yeah, let's let's, do, let's talk movie. about some ages. Let's talk about <laughs> how one one thing I wanted to mention though, there was some very clever writing in this movie, in this part here. Uh I thought that this was amazingly like masterful way of of answering these questions under the parameters of not being able to tell a lie. When yeah. he came back into the courtroom after kicking his own ass and had to describe <laughs> yeah. who was the culprit. I love right, that right, they right. did this. Uh and it is right here. 
I found him like this in the bathroom, Your Honor. This one sounds like Tim Meadows. Uh huh. Did this? A madman, Your Honor. Whoa. A desperate fool at the end of his pitiful rope. <laughs> About six, two hundred eighty pounds, big teeth, kind of gangly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. And he like covers up his teeth. He's like. Yeah. <laughs> so awesome i love that he described himself to a t and it was like it's just it's just a fun part of the movie it's almost like that is what grew out of like that was the seed that was planted in this movie that was like how can we make this into a thing i don't know i always look for stuff that was like what was the first idea that the writer had that would make them you know make this into an actual movie but yeah i don't know all right uh we're gonna move on to some other games now we want to do that yeah all right let's do uh, you want to do ages? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, I've got a new clip for uh, ages. Uh, it's yes! Nothing, it's nothing submitted. It's just something I wanted to play instead. Uh, okay. So we're about to play uh, How Old Are You, I guess is what we're going to call it. But here is yeah. uh, the revised uh, theme song for that. How old are you now? 22, 23? That's it. <laughs> no, that's perfect. Uh, 22, 23? <laughs> All right. Creepy. All right. <laughs> All right. So, so this how is where... Old we oh, we sorry. get uh, we give you some uh, cast members and we ask you how old they were at the time of filming. Okay. So in 1997, how old were these people? All right, how old do you think Jim Carrey was? Okay. Um 31. Okay, Matt? I'm going to say 27. 35. Matt, you okay. were way off. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was off. We usually like give like plus or minus a year. Sure. I was like, okay, so he's got a five-year-old son and he probably got pretty young. I was, yeah, I was doing like weird math, but not thinking about him as an actor. <laughs> okay. How old do you think um, Audrey, the mother was, her name is Mo- Moira, Moira Moira Tierney. Tierney. Yeah. yeah, yeah you're thank supposed you. to let her struggle through these, Nick. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Matt, Matt really enjoys when I fuck up names. And- <laughs> No, you so, just yeah. whenever you say names because they're pretty much a guarantee it's gonna get fucked up. But always, you know. every time. How old was she? How old is Audrey? <laughs> okay, so I think she was. She looked younger. Um, so I think she's probably twenty nine. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna say she's like thirty five. Yeah. Thirty two. Okay. Oh wow. Other way around. Look at Let's that. send this to Martini. Yeah. I know, and you just like guessed that the woman was super old, and the the and Jim Carrey hey, was, was super back young. I was backpedaling. I was like, I got the other one way wrong. I better skew this <laughs> up a little bit. Um, how old do you think Carrie Elvis was? Hmm. How old are you now? Twenty two, twenty three. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's one of those deceptively people with their age. So I'm gonna say he was probably forty one then. Oh wow! Okay, I'm gonna say he was. Yeah, he'd been around in in some other movies before then. So I'm gonna say like thirty eight. Thirty five. Oh. Whoa! He was a, yeah, he was the same age as Jim Carrey. Oh. Wow! I know, mind blown. <laughs> All right. Um. H- okay. How old do you think Justin Cooper, who played Max, was? <laughs> okay. Also, did you figure out? Uh, sorry to interrupt, Nick, but uh, did oh, no. you look for him on IMDb? Like I did. That, yeah. the picture, I did also. Did you find yeah. that that picture is not him? Because that's what I, I did not. I actually think that picture was him. So just so Justin Cooper grew up to become a sports radio person, mm-hmm. and it literally like when you look at the images of him, it shows him as like a nerdy twenty something. Huh. Being like a jacked up, bald hockey player yeah. looking. Yeah, they look like a something. <laughs> right, yeah. Yes, for sure. And I don't believe they're the same person, honestly. I don't know. I, I looked all over and I could not only, find. I mean, let's say he, I don't know how old he was during, but I guess let's cover that part first. If you want to guess how old. Yeah, how old do you think he was during the movie? Um, Seven? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say like eight, probably. Nine. He was nine. nine. Oh, okay. he, and so he is. Um, so let's see like right he now he's like 29 in, 30 years old he was born in 88 so he's 32 yeah there's no way that man is him i don't know it might have just been a weird like hockey player like trying to be tough picture like if he's on a hockey team i know because those nerdy pictures of him with like glasses on behind a microphone at like espn studios like that's yeah. him i can tell that's him <laughs> I think it's just anyways, with the same name. Like I think it's just feel free else. to Google Justin Cooper because there's a ton of falsities as to if who he grew is, up to be. If that is him, he is fucking crazy looking compared to <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, he was in okay. uh, like two other movies. He was in a Dennis the Menace movie. Right. Yes. Uh, and then one other film that nobody. He was about. well. He was on like a kid, like a TV show for he, like five he guest minutes. Starred, yeah, he guest starred on uh, Full House for a bit too. He was okay. Like, uh, nice. Yeah, one of those. Um, okay. How old do you think this is the last one? How how old do you think Jennifer Tilly was? Hmm. They said she was thirty one in the movie, right? Like she right didn't want to be a thirty one year old divorcee. Yeah. <laughs> So I think she's probably like three or four. So I think to say she was thirty nine. Okay, Matt. I would I would go with like thirty five. Yes, thirty nine. Okay. But how old are her tits? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Twenty two, twenty three. Yeah, 10, ten and twelve. <laughs> You had to come and that sing. was it that was all my whole my whole ages thing so all we're good all right perfect um and then do we want to jump straight into our last uh yeah what are, how are we doing on time do you think oh uh, we're good we got okay. uh well we got like 12 like 15 minutes ish something like that. okay so we're gr- doing so great yeah all right here we go uh that one really does have a theme song feel free to talk over it because i don't think we're allowed to play any of these songs okay. uh here we go like it's time we stop, children. What's that sound? Got a little you know. Christmas in there. What's that sound? We just. <laughs> what, 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 what's that sound? Nice. All right, that one's much shorter. But uh, basically, what we're going to do I is think, play. I think a... You can use that because it's derivative. I think you can use that. Just okay, good, good. That. Good to know. Don't. Yeah, don't, it's like a DJ, isn't it? Right. Tune, so that's. <laughs> yeah, we're going to quote you on that. So. Right. <laughs> If this lawyer was on our podcast, he was wearing a sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 let me finish. He was wearing his good sweatshirt. So we're, we're okay. Um, we're do, and during it too. <laughs> we are going to play a sound from this movie. Uh, yeah. Mandy has not heard these either. So it's going to go, okay. I'm going to play a sound and you're going to guess what's happening on oh, the screen okay. during right. that sound. This is going to be a little difficult. So listen hard because these are some weird ones. So okay. the last few episodes we've done have been pretty easy to get. Like, so I was trying to skew a little tougher on these. Okay. So sorry about that. That's all uh, right. If you don't get it, then it's going to go to Mandy. And if neither of you get it, it goes to the listeners to uh, guess. And then they can guess at the another episode podcast at gmail.com. I had to turn my, I had turned up my volume so I could hear it better. <laughs> they right. want to submit. Yeah, there you go. You need to get that in. Okay. So there are three rounds of this. So three sounds are coming at you. And I'm going to do this one first. Here we go. Okay. We're going to play it again for you. Okay. I did realize we are down to about 10 minutes. So okay. <laughs> here we go. Okay. So there's some sort of context clues with the, the, the score that's playing in the background and yeah. then, but main, mainly we need that with that what was that big noise kind of in the middle at uh yeah. and then there's like a follow-up little noise too so one Can more you play time one more time we'll give yeah. it to you okay uh, that second I mean, little the second little clicky noise is what's going to give you the hint basically okay because it, it did that's what I heard. So it sounded like a briefcase opening. That's what it was. Yep. Okay, all right. It's when he uh, he comes into the courtroom and he can't get his briefcase to open, so he okay. like bashes it with his elbow and then it yeah. Open. yeah. Okay. Nice. So oh my god, that was so impressive. <laughs> <laughs> and that wasn't even like in context with the movie. It was just that's the sound of a briefcase opening. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here is the second one. All right. Yeah. Okay, so that that's the bathroom scene, right? Where he's kicking his ass? No, it is oh. not. No, all right. So, Ma- Mandy, you want to swing at it? It's the pen is blue part. It is. Yep, it's when he's oh, fighting with wow. the pen. Yep. It's my fault because I made a noise and then it just jacked up the sound. So oh, that was probably, that was probably well, my it fault. It came through clear on this end. <laughs> all right, so there's uh, that was number two. Here is number right. three. So that was it. This is basically, now that I'm listening back to them, it's basically like, 
what time did this score come in? Because that's really all that you can hear. Is yeah. The, the score happening. So there is a ruckus going on in the background. Do you know uh, if I can, if you want me to play it again, let me know. Yes. Yeah, please. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Um, it kind of like, like kinda the might... Foley, like the sound engineer for this movie had to just be like, I don't know, what else can we throw in here? <laughs> um, I don't know. It kind of reminds me when he's on that chair of st- the stair chairs thing or whatever that's called. The, the moving staircase, the rolling stairs. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. That's when he's when he spins out the stairs into the okay. pile Slams of uh, in, yeah. Slams into all the luggage. Yeah. yeah. So, right. All right, man. Two for two for three. Two for three. Not and and Mandy yeah. weeps the other one. So nice. Nothing left for the audience to pick up. I'm sure they're appreciating that. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was just a wall of noise and sadness. So, <laughs> nice job. <everybody. laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's the end of the games portion, and I think we're just about wrapping it up. I have yeah. Uh, I have the clip uh, just in case we want to hear one. Uh, I have the clip of her, uh, him talking about making her squeal. I don't know if we want to play no. that real quick. No, we're good. No? We're well, good. Let's let's just get a taste of it, just for the All right. sake. This let's get a finally, taste. When let's he get finally, a taste of making her squeal. <laughs> when he finally admits to his uh, ex-wife that he's that he lied all of the time here. Uh huh. But things just keep coming up at the last minute, right? Yes, but this time it's different. I see. And how is that? Now I'm telling the truth. <laughs> and last night you weren't. No. Well, what were you doing? After sex. <laughs> <laughs> hope that it was with someone very special no see that's the thing i don't even like her but she's a partner and i thought i could help my career by making her squeal (laughs) (laughs) so nick do you think you're gonna watch this movie again i think so yeah i mean um there's like i think when my kid gets a little bit older maybe i'll have him watch it but um yeah yeah for sure I think he he hasn't watched any Jim Carrey movies, so I think I'm gonna try and find something that. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, Ace Ventura is, but it has like some like. Yeah. Sexual. Yeah. 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 We watch The Office a lot, so he's familiar with like some like you know that's what she said. He'll say that sometimes. (laughs) I have no idea what he's saying. Oh my god, that's amazing. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, my daughter watches The Office with us, and we've seen it like start to finish probably nine times now. So yeah, I get it. Um, yeah, no, my fuck my life because my daughter would never watch that. Oh, we God. we watch like three different things on like repeat. So oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. My daughter went through that too. Like a yeah, phase she's of just five. watching she, nothing but the same shit over and over again. But. Well, she's starting to like shows or or movies and things that are like live action. You yeah. know, like real people, which sure. is fantastic. So uh, will, we're will getting we're getting there. Will you watch this movie again, Mandy? Oh, yeah. I have it on DVD. I just don't know where it is at the nice. moment. Um, I have it on VHS. I remember having the VHS. Oh, yeah. And could not Same. find... Yeah, it's gone. It's not in my house anymore. <laughs> so I would watch it again. I just don't know when the opportunity would come up that I would, sure. yeah, you know? Yeah. If, it, if it comes out on streaming and it's just on somewhere and yeah. I can click on it, I'd probably give it a shot, yeah. Yep. For sure. Especially with Nick's revised uh, synopsis. I mean, definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so, so Nick, uh, as we wrap things up, yeah. uh, do you have any plugs coming up? Anything you want to tell people about? Any, <laughs> any way people can reach you uh, or talk to you? Got the chuckle hut, and uh, um, Is, so that's right behind you, right? In your <laughs> just right behind you in your house there. Right, right. <laughs> um, so I've been doing some stuff on. Uh, so if you follow me on YouTube, uh, just it's Nick Lidor, if it's L E Y D O R F. Um, and so I've been doing a lot of stuff on YouTube there. I did a. A series of web stuff with salsa parlor guys and it's me just at, uh, answering emails uh, it's kind of part of the podcast that we do called free consultation so it's just a web series called free consultation it's about three minutes a piece of me just answering emails and um yeah I, i'm really happy with it and i can't wait sure. to do some more of them um it's a lot of fun and um so yeah i think yeah that's what i'm working on right now we're kind of we put the podcast on hold because we haven't been able to do um get a really reliable you know back and forth like this yep. just i think lose uh internet it's kind of choppy but sure, uh, sure. <laughs> but yeah free consultation the podcast is on you know google podcasts and itunes um we've got a lot of episodes of those and and those are fun i can't wait to get doing that again but yeah that's that's what i'm working on right okay now. Yeah. trying to find some ways to be productive during sure. this mess. Yep. yeah yeah awesome 
know. Yeah, so go check that out. Uh, free consultation, both places, right on. on yeah, the- yeah brand, branding, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> well, there you go. Can, we'll put a link. Can you put a link oh, in yeah. on our? Yeah, um, yeah, for sure. And if okay. you guys get uh, back together again and or have any promo material at all, send yeah. us some, send some our way and we'll, we'll get you. Yeah, guys for sure. Too, so. We will do that. Awesome. Definitely. Uh, otherwise, I mean, there's really nothing left here. Mandy, do you have anything you want people to deal with at all? All I want to say is that it's super nice to see your faces. Yeah. Like, <laughs> people enjoy faces now that, you know, we, that we you don't get to see them. See them. Like, right. even at work, at work, I'm like this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm smiling at you under this, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> Yeah. So. Um, so if you guys want to reach out to us at all, you can do so at another episode podcast at gmail.com. I recommend that you go and jump on our Instagram as well, because that's where we put all of the posters for these episodes that we make. So uh, eventually, Nick, you're going to be on the cover of Liar Liar in place of yeah. Jim Carrey's face. So oh, hell yeah. Pretty stoked about that. That's going to be coming out. Yes. We drop those on the Sunday before the show comes out. So this will be out on Wednesday. So Sunday, I should, if I have time, I'll be able to get that poster out on cool. Instagram and so on. So check those out there. It gives you a heads up so you know what to watch before we drop the episode and you can catch up with us. So otherwise we don't really have a good way to end these. So we just kind of play a clip to play us out here on this. So uh, otherwise, thank you so much, Nick, for joining us. Guys, thank again. you. If you're it was so really, nice to see you. If you're yeah. really into it, go back and watch that flight of the navigator episode. It was a great episode, uh, just a terrible movie. Wow. And that, by the way, that's not on YouTube. That is only on, yes, um, only on the podcast. Other, yeah, it's only on the podcast. Yeah. So we'll find us there. otherwise, uh, here's that final clip guys. Jose Canseco. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Uh, Bye. Bye.